Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash the like button. If you enjoy the readings, please do subscribe also. Welcome back, everybody. Personal reading links, timeless readings, everything you need is in the description box below. Let's get into your weekend, Virgo. What the? Yes, we have a weekend coming up, July 26th through the 28th. Let's see what the messages are playing out for you this weekend. Okay, looks like um, somebody's making a decision about you, right? <laughs> Trying to make a decision, weighing some options in regards to you over this weekend. Uh, water sign energy. Let's see, what's this about? Got some kind of decision here. Oh, hold on. I gotta put my papers together. Okay. So, um, hmm. Two choices. There's two choices. Whether to open up or not. Yeah, look at this. Major decision. Whether to tell you something. Look, take the lid off the chalice top here. Reveal something to you. Okay, let's see. What is it? Ooh, I just saw the Nine Cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um... Okay, there's somebody here who thinks like you're everything to them. They're weighing whether or not to tell you that. <laughs> okay. Um, why wouldn't somebody tell you that? What's the big deal? This person keeps a lid on their emotions and their feelings. Masculine or feminine energy. Okay, they keep it quiet. They don't reveal. They're, they're, not, they're not the wear your heart on the sleeve type of person, right? No. Um, look, they got long sleeves on. They cover everything up, right? So weighing whether or not to tell you how they feel about you, which is the nine of cups like you are everything to them you're like a wish come true you bring them emotional happiness um also they wish that you would unblock them or they wish that you would make some kind of decision as well okay hmm. let me just ask what decision does virgo okay they, they want you to reach out and uh, communicate with them but also they want to tell you so that's just small message but also I feel like this person is waiting whether or not to let you know um, about some plans they have um, a wish that they have to connect with you or um, to tell you that they've got a thing for you okay well whatever fine spend your weekend enjoy yourself water sign uh, king or queen of cups spend your weekend enjoying yourself him and Han right because while somebody's him and hawing, Virgo's getting it done, getting things done, right? Um, okay, let's see. What else is coming up here for you? Oh, okay, you. You're showing up. Isn't it great when you show up in your own readings, Virgo? That's the way to get it done. Okay, what's your intuition tell you? Oh, yeah, you know. You got, you know, that you're, look, you're curious if somebody is watching you or spying on you. Or you might see it. And your intuition's like, yep you know it okay if, if you're curious about that or your intuition is telling you something along those lines the answer is yes somebody's watching you keeping tabs on you spying they might be talking to other people about you they're curious prying eyes seeking some kind of truth you're in secret you're hiding um you're oh somebody's looking to see if you're sad or if you're hurt or if you're upset if you're grieving some kind of loss, if you feel um, like down in the dumps. Yeah, okay. Um, now you might be doing this to another person too, but I feel like it's mostly, there could be an, an earth sign that's doing this. Somebody's looking to see. Like you're in secretive mode. I don't, not secretive, like I just feel like you're keeping quiet, keeping things to yourself. It, and you might know, maybe you don't want to reveal how you're feeling if you're in like this five of cups energy if you're feeling kind of just if you feel unloved you know when you feel that energy um you're not revealing it okay I, I don't see you revealing it this weekend and I see somebody who's trying to find out what's going on with you spying trying to uh, curious about you trying to find out like what you're up to what's going on how you're feeling about things yeah see 
Virgo, I don't know how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling sad. Maybe you're feeling abandoned or um, maybe you're struggling with something financially, okay? Or you just have a sense of like you're worried or isolated. Maybe you feel all those things. You might, but so I feel like somebody is here. They're trying to get that information. Why? Why are they trying to get this info? Oh, okay. So they can come in and make it better. <sighs> Somebody's looking for a weak spot. Somebody's looking for a weak spot so they can apologize. Or, um, I don't know. Maybe somebody just thinks you're cold. You're showing yourself to be kind of cold. Like steel, you know? Like steel. You're not showing your emotions this weekend. But um, maybe you want someone to apologize to you or to, or to say something. Maybe you're looking to see if they're gonna. You could be. Um, but I feel mostly like if if somebody sees something somewhere, like a, like a tear in your eye or um, something that shows that you're kind of distraught and you're sad in some way about something, there is going to be some kind of message that comes in from whoever is looking at you to see how you are. This page of cups is very gentle. It's just, you might, that could be like a heat check. Be careful. I don't know who you're dealing with. If you're dealing with someone that's very negative, um, be careful. I, I feel like there's a reason why you're keeping yourself, yeah, quiet. Keeping yourself maybe unavailable to maybe a king of wands a fire sign keeping yourself unavailable there, there's a reason i'm gonna ask why yeah because you obviously feel hurt feel um betrayed but you're not you're doing that whole never let them see you sweat right you're, you're you definitely got that going on now maybe you're not sad maybe you're not hurt maybe you let somebody go and Maybe you're wondering if if they how they're feeling. It could be this. That could be this happening over the weekend. Okay, um, you could be hoping that they're not too upset, right? If you, if you're breaking up with someone over this weekend or something's ending, friendship or just something's ending, um, you so Virgo. I know you got a big heart. You could be concerned, like how they're how they're doing not in a sense like you know what i mean like not in a sense of maliciousness but to just make sure they're okay right you you could be feeling that way or, or looking to see if somebody's okay either way right either way there is an energy of some type of ending that's happening here over this weekend and either there's another person who's looking to see if you're like how you're doing to see if you're like down and out from something ending and if that's the case like if somebody ends something with you virgo you're not gonna sh i don't see you showing anyone anything i feel like you're gonna be very private and keep it to yourself you deal with your stuff on your own you're not announcing like you're not hanging your your dirty laundry out to dry or no who hangs her dirty laundry you're not hanging any laundry out to dry you're just like no i'll deal i'm gonna deal with stuff on my own Nobody, it's nobody's business what I'm doing. Your personal stuff, right? Okay. Let's see, what else do you have? Okay, you got a lot of people showing up this weekend. So there's Queen of Swords. Ooh. Oh my gosh. There's an argument between two people over this weekend also. Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands. What the hell is going on? Air sign, fire sign. All right, there's one person here who's trying to manifest a new start somewhere. And there's another person here who's like <laughs> pissed off. There's another person here who's really pissed off about this. There's, there's going to be some words, maybe an argument. There's going to be some words over the weekend between two people where one person is really pissed about a breakup or something ending or an argument, or there is an argument that happens over this weekend. Um, so divorce or loss, there could be like some truth coming out about somebody who wants to get surgery. Um, and there, and like another person is telling that person, yo, let me give you some truth about this surgery. You know, it's kind of like, 
I don't feel like, I don't know it's abrasive, but it feels more like, like I need to be honest with you about this thing you're going to do, you know, uh, or about this doctor you're choosing. That's what I'm hearing. Like, so it could be friendship, but there's something, something happens over this week. I'm, I know it sounds vague, but there's some kind of an argument between two people. Okay. They just said get one more card. Yeah. Hmm. Could be about trying to trying a new medicine or getting some kind of surgery or anything to do with there's a, it's a, it's like one person you could be the queen of swords warning someone don't do that that's not a good idea let me tell you why you could be giving out some advice virgo to someone It's, it's 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 not the flex you think it is it's it's not what you think it's going to be this is what i'm hearing um snake oil salesman energy be careful of, of what you're getting into i feel like you might be saying that to somebody like giving some hardcore truths <laughs> you know that queen of swords is totally honest you know totally honest just straight uh, shoots straight from the hip you know you could be in that energy i feel like so when i'm looking at like the the court cards i always feel like i always feel like the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords is virgo i don't know why i just because the pentacles earth but the, the queen of swords is mercury and virgo is, is an earth sign that's ruled by mercury so i always feel like it's it's a little bit of both there okay let me see what else do you have oh you know what we're gonna get your messages of love hear my grandson he's playing a video game he's like oh no way okay play hard virgo this weekend find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other it could be one person or a group of friends or other people over this weekend just go go have a good weekend virgo go have a good weekend go have fun some kind of rejection is actually divine protection so you've been blessed this is a good thing. You've been protected by something. If you get rejected or you've been rejected. All right. You've got a soulmate showing up over this weekend. This person loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. It's going to be very significant over this weekend. And self-care. Clear your energy field, Virgo. Focus on yourself even before acting. Make this weekend all about you. I, I say make every weekend about you. If you. So your weekend, right? Let me put it to you this way. Okay, I know some of you work right through the weekend and your weekend doesn't happen until like next Tuesday. Then that's your weekend. Okay, that's your message, right? Um, or you could just start it this weekend. Even if you got to work, focus on yourself, self-care, do what's best for you. Awakening, someone undergoing a spiritual transformation. And there is someone who's unavailable to give you all that you deserve. However... This person might be awakening to that. Exception to the rule, Virgo. Don't don't hedge your bets on an unavailable someone who's emotionally unavailable. There's a reason. Emotional unavailability is avoidance. It's a dismissive, avoidant kind of attachment style. Can be healed, but this person, if you're dealing with someone like that, don't hedge all your bets on that person and them having a huge awakening. Yes, it could happen. And, it, and, you know, something's showing up here over the weekend, but I want you to, like, maintain equilibrium. Maintain equilibrium. Let's take a look. Let us take a look. Oh, yeah, there's the runner. Avoidant. You got an avoidant. Some of you are dealing with someone who has an avoidant attachment style. Fear of intimacy. Listen to their ego. They run as soon as there's this getting close energy. And and people like that, when you have people like that, they need a ton of space. And if you go down contact, give them space, trust me, they're relieved. Because they want their space. But you go a long time and give them their space, they will turn around and come back. Because then they're going to be like, well, wait a minute. Because they also want intimacy. But as soon as the, it's a very push-pull energy with these avoidant types, it's really important that you don't um, get, get your any anxiety that you have triggered by that. You could be completely securely attached emotionally. You could be very healthy. But dealing with avoidant types or even these 
when you're dealing with people who are insecurely attached, it can it actually, it can take a toll on you, right? But secure people who are securely attached, they call it, they see it right away. They, they see people who, like people who are anxiously attached become extremely clingy and people who are, have a dismissive avoidant type of an attachment, they're the opposite of clingy, right? But either way, it's craziness. It's crazy. So you got a runner here, right? You got a runner. And, and, and either way, no matter what they are, if, if this is what this person is like, and it's always dear to, it's always it always comes from some kind of childhood trauma, neglect of some sort for the, the the avoidant. So if you're dealing with somebody like this, they need counseling. They need therapy to work through those issues. You can't fix that. I don't know why that all came out, but I just feel like I got to say that. Yeah, separation. See, they run away, and then when you let them go, and then you give them lots and lots. It could be a year, two years they, they, then they get sad. They start missing you. They start yearning about you, thinking about you, unsure about the future. And then they reach out and then the cycle repeats, wash, rinse, repeat. Huh? Yeah. And then here comes the engagement ring. Oh my gosh. You know what, Virgo engagement partnership. Yeah. So, all right, let me just say this. If you have someone who's a runner, they're going to be back. But you need to be, you need to get yourself secure. And if this person comes back and, and you've been through this cycle, this wash, rinse, repeat cycle with them, you don't want to go through that anymore. Then you just got to be like, listen, now you're not respecting my boundaries here. So I'm going to have to cut off all contact because unless you go and get some, some therapy, you get deal with your issues. You can't keep doing this. Like, I'm not going to allow this. Right now, if you just want to be friends with the person, you don't care about the romantic attachment, fine, be friends with them. But if, because usually avoidance, because if they can't get into, if they, they'll say they want romantic, but then they'll be all right. Like friendship is okay too. But if they're able to be friends with you, that's a big red flag, right? And if you don't want friendship, then you got to like lay your, draw the line and say, I'm mean, like, I'm not interested in that. I want a romantic relationship or nothing at all. And you can go because I can find that somewhere else. Like you have to, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to draw lines in the sand. So over this weekend, especially, don't be surprised if this runner type person, this avoidant type person cycles back around your, around your way. They could even come in with this whole commitment thing, but you know, you can't, you, you just can't be like, oh yes, okay. Because what's going to happen is if you just agree to it right away and get it in your mind, well, if they're offering this and they must be serious, no, they just don't want you to run away. They don't want you to, they don't want you to be gone. They just want their space. If you can handle that, fine, accept it. But if it, the cycle will repeat, it will keep repeating until this person's able to deal with their trauma, their issues from, you know, their childhood. fucking psychotherapy session here let me tell you what oh i just dropped the f-bomb what what else what else does virgo need to know can we change the topic here what else does virgo need to know boat okay you got a boat Are you going somewhere receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues hmm you might be out on a boat this weekend listen to some fine 80s music Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Oh, I feel like they're telling me a story. Virgo, I just feel like be careful. Uh, because these right here is telling me. Like even with the rest of the messages, like in the first two messages, whatever you're dealing with, like you're keeping it to yourself, I see this weekend going forward but this person's looking for that weak spot so they can come in and try to make you feel better but <sighs> I also feel like if you've been in separation with someone here because you're dealing with stuff you need that time to self-care and heal from whatever you need to heal from you know but just remember you do and listen I, I saw somewhere that someone had said you know a dismissive avoidant is equivalent to a narcissist it's not 
nar narcissists, are, they have malicious intent. They want to hurt you. Dismissive avoidance, just they, they hurt inadvertently because they want their space. They're not trying to hurt you. You know, there's a lot of schools on the subject out there, but I believe that they're two separate things. I mean, you could even look at some of this on the on the spectrum. They 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 struggle with holding hands or looking in eye contact and getting close and things like that. That doesn't make them narcissists. It doesn't make them dismissive avoidance. You know, that's a neuro neurodiversity kind of thing going on. Doesn't mean they don't love you, right? I don't think we're dealing with a narcissist here. I think you're dealing with someone who has an attachment problem. Uh, uh, you know. Um, an issue with their attachment style, with the way they attach or that they don't attach. That's a trauma response. Being too clingy, being anxiously attached. If you don't know about any of this, start reading up on it this weekend. I, I guarantee you can take some tests and even see where you line up in the attachment style to do a little diagnostic test on yourself to see, you know, cause it's all about self healing, totally. Um, but if you don't know about this stuff, it's definitely worth you. I, I feel it would be very helpful if you learn about it. And I feel like, um, you know, the goal is to be securely attached, healthy. It's attachment is a good, healthy thing to, we want attachment with a romantic partner. We want to have that. That's a beautiful thing. And it's not the pendulum is not too far to the left or too far to the right. It's right in the center. It's being securely attached. It's being centered, emotionally centered and available. That's what you want. Okay. But I feel like somebody here is the avoidant type or they're dismissive. If there's time to talk about their emotions or the relationship or things like that, they just dismiss it. We'll talk about it later. Or I don't have time for this. Or I'll let you know. Or I'll get back to you. It's very dismissive. Or they'll, they'll give you a little bit of something and be like, well, I'm not sure how I feel like that, but I don't have time to talk about that right now. It's very dismissive and it can be very hurtful. But it, And yes, it is hurtful. I don't feel like this person is attempting to maliciously hurt you. I just feel like they're so fearful. The, the dismissive avoidance biggest fear is abandonment. And they will purposely sabotage a relationship to create abandonment. But they're the ones that abandon, so they don't become abandoned. And they, they could do this incrementally, but they, oh, they always return because they got to keep repeating this cycle. Rather than facing the fears, they keep repeating the cycle, trying to gain control over it, but they're not. And you can't get control over that. And that's what I feel like is going on here. It's really, really, really important over this weekend. I feel the message. It's really strong. That you take a look at your own issues. Uh, if you, your own abandonment issues, your your own um, feelings of failure or feelings if you're not good enough, you are. You are. Everybody is. Even your person here is. They need help. You can't have a healthy relationship when these attachment styles are all wonky like this. Okay? And that could be why this person here looking to see if you still care, if you still love them so they can kind of make their way in. And I, I feel like for you, I mean, whether you do or not, I don't know, maybe you do, maybe you don't, maybe you're out of love. I'm out of love, I'm so lost without you. So you might just be like, you know what, let me just keep to myself and work on my stuff myself. I'm not revealing anything. Yeah, I see you going into like private mode, not hermit mode, pr like strict private mode. All right, what else do you have here? Oh my God, commitment. You are gonna get a commitment from this person, <clears throat> whoever they are. It could be an air sign, a water sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign. You are gonna get a commitment that's again coming up here. But make sure that the commitment that they're bringing in for, to you is because they recognize that they're running and they've been running and they're working on healing whether that's they're reading self-help books, they're going to talk to someone, or they're joining a support group. Nothing else. Well, I've looked at it and I read a couple articles, so yeah, I guess I do have that. That's not enough. Changes need to be present. And, and you know, if you want to accept some kind of engagement ring or a commitment from someone, do it at your 
Do it with caution. You know, because avoidance, they run away from self-awareness. Because they're afraid that if they, they turn back and look at themselves, they're going to hate what they see. All right, pregnancy. Someone is expecting. You might find out about that over the weekend. And that they're lying about it. Oh, shit. What? This is a Netflix series right here. This is a daytime soap. <laughs> Somebody's going to fake a pregnancy over this weekend. Now, look. You know what I always say, you could just be watching some kind of show, right? It's funny the way tarot works, right? You could just be laying in your bed, eating up some popcorn, watching a series, and then in that series, someone, one of the characters fakes a pregnancy, and this is the reading. It could just be that, but it could also be in real life. So you just gotta sit back, observe, wait and see, or you might not, some of you might already know about this, and you find out about it, okay? Drama. Oh my gosh. Oh, there now some of you are dealing with a narcissist. He's just too full of themselves. Hmm. You know what, y'all? It's this it's this pregnant person who's faking a pregnancy. It's actually a narcissist. They're doing it for attention. Full of themselves, get it? It's just a big old baby inside. Deep down inside, this person nothing but a big old baby. A big baby. All right, you got intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Mm. So somebody's definitely going to be thinking about that. Yes, it's an air sign. There's an air sign who's thinking about your, your sexual chemistry or the intimacy Perhaps you've had, to, obviously, or they're, they're thinking or fantasizing about that with you over this weekend. Jesus. All right. Oh, pets showing up. Getting new pet. Giving a current pet some love. How sweet. That's so sweet. We like that. Let's keep it simple. All right. Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. And if you want a date night, tell the universe, you know what? I want a date night. I don't want it to be with my freaking cat again. I'm not hanging out with my dog every weekend, all right? I need some human interaction, universe, and this is what I need you to bring. I want a date night. I want drinks, I want dinner, I want good conversation, or I just want coffee. I want a date night with someone. Romantic date night, if that's what you want, tell the universe. That's what I want, bring it in. Don't tell them, order it. Open your heart, will help you attract more love and patience just a few more months good things will be coming to you virgo just a few more months interesting weekend all right let's see a message here for virgo well of course you have the lovers embrace true love and deep intimate friendships make choices from the heart vibrant health or recovery from an illness is on top this weekend So my nails, y'all, I have color changing nails. So you can tell like where the heat is, they turn white and the tip of the nail is purple. <laughs> so when I'm outside, they go completely white, but like under the cold water, they, they turn like to totally purple. And I love one or the other. I don't like this half and half shit. Like what's going on? That's not my thing. Anyway, let's get some charms. Oh. All right. Those got left in there, so they don't count because the spirit didn't pick them up. All right. Pisces, Aries, Cancer, Leo. Significant over this weekend. All right. We got the letter G, the letter R, the letter O, the letter E. Grow up. Grow up. 1981, 1978, 63, 60, August 31st, 1980, September 5th, someone's birthday is in May, and 48, Igor, Igor, Ogre, what the hell, someone's an Ogre, September 18th, I'm also hearing, you know, I was talking to somebody today, 
They said to me, if you are born in the month of August, from August 1st through the 31st, you're, you're Leo. If you're born September 1st to September 30th, you're a Virgo. And I was just like, okay, no, I can understand that because there's some Virgos who are born at the end of August and they totally act like Leos, totally. They are not shy. They are not introverted. Those August Virgos, they are not shy. They're not introverted. They're pretty sociable. But the good thing is, you know, I always say with having some of that Virgo, that tamps down on that ego from the Leo. However, however, I'm beginning to question. Because I know some Libras who were born at the end of September, and they, are, they act like Virgos, like if I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Do, do you guys agree with this? If you agree with this, leave me a comment. Or if you disagree, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about that. If you were born at the end of August, up until like from the 23rd to the 31st, do you feel more like a Leo? Or do you feel more like a Virgo? Yeah, let me know. I, I would like to know. I would like to know. I mean, on the 23rd, and I resonate some things with Virgo, but mostly with Leo, more so with Leo, which is crazy, you know? Anyway, I'm just going to leave that there, right? So let's get some charms. Yeah, I didn't get to do a video today. I was babysitting my grandson and, um, yeah, you got a letter coming in. You got a message. Virgo. Look at this thing. This is like black. It's like really bronze or something. Could be in a, a dark colored envelope. But yeah, you got a message coming in. It could be a piece of mail. It could actually be like some kind of message coming in. Expect to hear some kind of message from someone or a letter coming in. Okay, you also have a rocking horse. Somebody might have their kid out on one of those little put the coin operated rides outside the grocery store um but there's a rocking horse is connected to a child Ch children's toys are significant a child's toy over this weekend will be significant okay you also have a rabbit blowing a trumpet and the horn comes out um I think this is from Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's got a suit of cards. It's got the suit, like hearts, spades, that kind of thing. Hey, hi, buddy. Oh, I'm not. I can't play the video game from here. You gotta go tell daddy. Okay. And you have a hummingbird again. That was here yesterday. Something to do with a hummingbird. Very significant over this weekend. And remember I was saying the other day, the hummingbird represents like directional, in, intentional direction. And you also have an anchor. Anchor, your, anchor yourself this weekend, Virgo. Now, maybe you're gonna be on a boat or a ship um, or going somewhere and they gotta put the anchor down. <clears throat> Putting the anchor down at port or something like that. But yeah, I feel like this, this letter coming in is more so there's an invitation coming to you over this weekend. Just so you know. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there. Hope you enjoy that. Yep. I'll be back here um, on Sunday evening. Sunday or Monday, I'm not exactly sure. What's going on? It's all right. Well, are you, oh, are you trying to get him out of here? Um, yeah, I'll either be here Sunday or Monday. I'll let you guys know. Love you. Have a great weekend. Bye. My heart